A, a tremendous college basketball game. Uh, Iona, terrific. Uh, what a season they've had, and uh, can't can't say enough about our guys. Uh, just the way that we fought uh, from from start to finish, 40 minutes, and uh, just really proud of uh, the resiliency and how connected uh, we were out there. Greg, I know this is about the kids, but you don't beat a Hall of Fame coach every day. Um, did you look over? Do you look over at something like that and just say, you, you say to yourself for a second, whoa? I, I don't. Yeah. Um, you know, whoever we're playing, it's it's about our guys and our team and and uh, us playing to um, the, us us giving maximum effort and us being as as uh, connected as we can be. And so, uh, our focus is on our guys and um, trying to to bring our best. And uh, um, you know. It, Coach Patino, 800 wins. I know he got that. And congratulations to him uh, and, and his resume. I mean, Hall of Fame. And um, you know, so for for me, it's it's just about our guys and it's about our program and just really proud of our team. For the for any of the players here, what's, what is it like to, to beat the top team in the conference right now? They came on eight game winning streak. They beat Alabama early in the season. What is it like to beat a team like Iona, the 55 in the net, instead of 57 in the net? Um, you know, of course, we're happy to beat that team, but you know, it's just it's just a win in our column. Like it doesn't matter who we're playing; we just gotta go out and play hard and as a team, and good things can happen for us. How do you think this wins kind of kind of springboard you guys into February? I mean, February is a big month, an important month. Get ready for the postseason. Um, we celebrate it today, then we move on from it, and then get ready to practice tomorrow. Our, uh, you know, our, our process uh, result, um, win or lose, it's it's going to come back and. Um, you know, it's it's one of those we got to continue to get better. Continue. There's a lot of basketball left to be played, um, but uh, certainly one that uh, you know the, our guys and, and the way that they fought, uh, the togetherness, the belief, um, and, and their preparation leading into this game uh, was off the charts. Any one of the guys that's as loud as I've heard this place in a while. Uh, it's almost like these are the type of days that you, you signed up for when you get into college basketball and, and could sit back and enjoy it. For sure. Now. For sure, the atmosphere was amazing. Just want to thank all the Niagara family, the fans, just for coming out and supporting through the ups and downs. You know, they've been there when we took a few L's, and they were there today for this weekend, too. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to just thank them as well, too. I mean, it's uh, Gallagher Center was rocking on Friday, uh, Friday night, and really helped us uh, win a game there in overtime. And, and today, the, the energy, and um, it, it's, uh, it's a special place. There's, you know, there's so much tradition here, and, and uh, the fans love basketball, the passion, and uh, we're just grateful for all their support. Sam, that's three straight wins, all you know, thrillers in their own way. Um, can you, do you feel uh, like maybe a turning point kind of for the season um, after some ups and downs? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, any time you could win three in a row in conference, I mean, that's just huge. It's hard to win, um, especially league games, you know. Um, so just to come in and do what we did tonight, they're a really good team. And uh, I think that just shows what we're capable of. And, you know, we got to treat it like another game and come, come ready to um, see Fairfield and Maris next week. But, you know, definitely got to take uh, the positives out of this one and, and uh, use that moving forward. Greg, the two guys sitting next to you um, have come on in the last 10, 8, 10 games. Um, just how big is their, uh, you know, maybe finding their friend <coughs> in the program or whatever it was, how big has that been to where you are right now and, and where you guys want to go the rest of the way? With, with the, with yeah, the, Sam and Noah. Yeah, Sam and Noah. I mean, you know, it's, um, you know, they're uh, getting better as the season goes on. And, um, you know, you can see uh, the comfort. Um, you can see their work and their preparation each and every day. And, uh, you know, everybody has a role on their team, on this team. And uh, when we are uh, doing our jobs and when we're together with those and, uh, continuing to believe, um, then uh, some really good things can happen, and these two guys have certainly uh, continued to grow throughout the season. Marcus, you single-handedly powered. It was a 7-0 run about midway through the second half that opened it up to, I believe it was uh, 54 and 57 to 52. What propelled you in there? I kind of think how that think that set the tone for the final 10 minutes of the game. Oh, we came out a little stagnant. You know, I think we had a turnover, bad shot, and then they, they got a couple points, and I was just telling myself, like, I'm not going to let this happen. We all are not going to let this happen. I just had to make a couple plays to get us back on track. What was your team's strategy, say, maybe in the final two and a half minutes when they cut it to, you know, to three, you know, defensive strategy? What was that? Just togetherness, camaraderie, you know, just talking. See the bench, they're, they're in it. Coaches are in it, you know. Even us on the court, we're talking to each other. We have to. 
I feel like that togetherness is just it just makes us go. If we see our, our bench sitting down, you know, we're not really gonna be into it. But they're always they're always up showing love, whether it's the, the start of the game, midway through the game, end of the game. They're always up talking to someone and we really appreciate that. So that gets us going and then we just apply what we do in the scout to the game. I, I think one of the important things, Rachel, is uh, you know, Iona continue to make runs. Uh, they're such a such a great team, and, and they're really deep and talented, and obviously well coached with the Hall of Fame coach. And uh, you know, one of the things that we talked about was just continuing to stay aggressive. Um, you know, we didn't want to just hold on to it. We wanted to continue to attack, to be aggressive. And I thought that uh, each time that Iona made a, a a run, you know, we got a lead, they came back. We got a they got a lead, and uh, I thought the the common theme there was uh, not only togetherness but aggressiveness um, on both ends of the floor. Nolan, Sam, know what you're at, uh, I think, double figures in eight of your last ten. Uh, Sam, you're six of your last seven. I mean, can you explain um, maybe, you know, was there a turnaround point in the season or is it just getting comfortable in a new place? Or can you kind of explain uh, the recent hot streak? I mean, yeah, I think any time you come to a new place, you know, it's just a different feeling. you got to get comfortable. And I think um, I'm finally just, uh, you know, you got to learn your role. And I think, you know, I found my role. and. And you know I play with a lot of great players, so it's it's easier when when you got talented guys like Noah and Marcus. They make it easier for you. And uh, you know my shot wasn't falling earlier in the, in the season as as I normally would like, but you know it's a lot of preparation in the gym and stuff, and uh, just you know getting comfortable with the system. These guys are great. You know never lost confidence in me, and and uh, I think that's that's huge. I think one of the things is um, you know when maybe your shot isn't falling. What what else can we do to impact winning? How else can we help our team and um, you know, specifically, Sam has done an excellent job in rebounding the basketball. You know, had nine rebounds again today. Has gotten double digits, rebounds a lot, and uh, those are the type of things that, hey, you know, we're not always going to make shots, but how else can we impact the game and impact winning? Greg, down the stretch, there were several times when somebody took a shot on your team, and I look, boy, that's a tough shot, and it goes in. Just, uh, did you think the winning streak coming in and the way you played in the first 30 minutes or whatever? gave everybody a little confidence going forward? We, we've had a lot of close games. And um, as the season's gone on, each one's kind of uh, played out differently. Uh, if you look at you know, the Monmouth game, we were you know, down by two possessions in overtime. And we got to string together some stops. If you look at the uh, game versus Manhattan, we're down by eight with two and a half, and we're able to get it to overtime and, and overcome that. And you know, sometimes they go in your favor, sometimes you don't. But learning how to win different ways and make those winning type of plays, um, you know, as the season goes, is something that we're trying to do. We're trying to learn how can we close games out, uh, whether we're up, how can we kind of inch back away if we're down. And uh, hopefully we can continue to grow uh, in that area because we know we're going to have more close games with how, how good this league is and how good the coaching is. Any more questions? All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming out.